In this video, I want to share with you a creative LGBT design style that I found that is selling well. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. So before I get into the content and actually give you a sales update like I usually always do, I just want to uh, share with you guys why I deleted my second to last video, the one where it was about the Moo Turkey Thanksgiving one. And the reason why is because like a few hours after I uploaded that video, I got a comment from someone basically uh, threatening to um, uh, uh, report me to YouTube because I was using their t-shirt in my thumbnail and I was talking about it in the video. Now, me personally, I don't really think I was doing anything wrong. You know, I don't really think that's um, against YouTube's terms of service. But, you know, since I'm trying to get monetized, um, you know, I didn't want to get a strike because when you when YouTube um, takes a look at your account to see if they're going to monetize you, they're going to see if you have any strikes. So I just didn't want to jeopardize this. Not that big of a deal. I figured I'd just take it down and not have to deal with it. I'm always trying to think long term. So since I've just been working my butt off so much to try and get this channel monetized, I didn't want to have anything to kind of mess that up. So I just figured I would just um, delete the uh, video. No big deal. Now, personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with the niche because a lot of people were asking me like in my comments on Instagram, hey, why'd you take down that video down? Is that niche not safe? And I think the niche is totally safe. I think it's a great niche to be into. But this person was threatening to report me and kind of giving me these like ultimatums like if you don't do it by tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So I just figured just to uh, not stress myself out and not jeopardize my account not being monetized I figured I would just delete the video so just want to clear that up with you guys now let's go ahead and do a quick sales update so yesterday I did 18 sales uh, only $29 in royalties though I saw I had a lot of uh, new new purchases so designs that haven't sold which is good you know but they only make me like 40 cents or a dollar so that's why the royalties is kind of low sales kind of high um, Today it is 10.30 in the morning at the time of this recording and so far I have three sales, $12. I have a feeling it's going to be a good day today. Um, you know, starting off good. I've also been getting a lot of sales on Etsy. So I think today is going to be a good day and that is going to put me for the month at $438. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the content of this video. So I was on TikTok uh, last night actually and I was just scrolling and I saw this video right here uh, this guy, you might have seen him before, but he's always like spitting um, like uh, water or juice or whatever out of his mouth saying, go to the freaking gym, go to the freaking gym. And I saw the shirt that he was wearing and I thought this was genius right here because it's a really good way to cross niche LGBT with uh, the gym. I said, okay, this is a really good idea, but I didn't want to do just a straight up copy. So I thought like, how can I take this design style and use it for other niches? So that's kind of what I want to talk to you about in this uh, video right here and cross nation is one of the best ways to get really good designs really specific to a certain type of people because if you're gay and you like the gym this is going to be a really cool design you know lats glutes biceps these are all the different types of muscle parts so i thought okay so how can i do something how can i not copy this but do something kind of similar with a different niche and so i started thinking about like hobbies uh, countries types of foods and one that popped up into my mind was the yoga niche so I started thinking, oh, and actually, I actually found it on uh, Merch by Amazon right here. There's only three designs. So, I mean, if you want, you can copy it, but I wouldn't really recommend that. I would recommend that you use your own creativity, try and make something kind of similar. Because I'm telling you, um, you know, I've always, me personally, I've always just been kind of like a copycat merch seller. You know, I just kind of see what's selling and I, I make something kind of similar. But there's been two times where I use my own creativity to make um, an original design. And those are the two times where the, I've had t-shirts go viral to like really just get like a whole bunch of sales. So if you can come up with something original, you know, it can make you a lot of money. Um, but so I found it right here. You can see there's only three results. Um, it's low in competition. But getting back to how we can take this design style and cross niche it with other niches, you know, yoga came to my mind because yoga is a very popular niche. It's kind of similar to the gym. You know, there's there are a lot of people that, you know, that are gay that like to do yoga, obviously. And so I thought, okay, so how can I do something like this? And I started thinking about like yoga positions. So what I did is I just jumped onto Google and I just did a quick uh, Google search, um, you know, a list of A to Z so, uh, yoga poses. And right here, let me just get rid of this. What you do is you just come right here and you can just look for like the L. So you just scroll down here, find the letter L, then here you got locus. And then the next one would be G. So we go to G. So where's G? It's going to be up here. So the garland pose, L, G. And then we got B. So what could B be? B would be the bridge. And what I did is I just started designing this on actually uh, Photoshop right here. So here's a design that I came up with. 
you see the lotus garland bridge tree now the q is kind of hard because there's not that many words that um you know start with the letter q so you kind of got to use your own creativity here there wasn't an actual like if we look right here there isn't an actual uh, pose that starts with q i even did a google search for like um, just words related to yoga that start with the letter q i wasn't able to find anything but you can see here there's nothing that starts with q for a pose so you're gonna have to use your own creativity um you know you and i came up with quiet mind you might just be able to actually just get rid of all the q and just do lgbt that could also work um, but so this is the design right here this is the font that I'm using. It is the, I think the summer, it's a good one. You can also make it solid like this, or you can do like other type of fonts. So I like guess maybe you can do maybe like the curvy one. I don't know, what do you guys think? You guys think this looks good? But in my opinion, this is a really good design because it's creative, it's original. Uh, you know, there's not another design like this and we're taking two niches, which is the LGBT niche, which is huge. You know, whether you like, you know, gay rights or not or whatever, you can't deny the LGBTQ niche sells. It's kind of like the Trump niche. You know, it just it doesn't matter if you like it or not. You know, these niches sell. And we're cross-niching a very popular niche with, um, you know, yoga, which is also very popular. Now, you can do this for so many niches. So you can get really creative with this. Um, one that also popped into my mind was, uh, which one was it? I think it was, uh, uh, so marijuana. So I thought legalize it, ganja, bong, trees, quality. I also came up with another one right here. I think it was for Mexico. So you can use this for like hobbies, food, countries. So this is loca, guapa, bonita, tequila, quesadilla. And there's just so many niches. So think of like, you know, what like hobbies, you know, people like to do. Maybe you like to run, you know, think of maybe like what, what you're into. So like me, I like to like play basketball. I like to go to the gym, but the gym one's already taken. So, you know, I could think of some words that are basketball related so that someone that is gay and likes to play basketball, you know, they're really going to relate to this t-shirt because it has one, their identity, what they really identify as and one of their favorite hobbies. So I think the, um, I think that's why this design is so cool this one that I just showed you right here because it's taking those two niches that are both very popular and we can see that it is selling now a website that you can use to get some uh, good resources is um, where did it go because if you just type in okay so is this it right here yeah so this website right here called relatedwords.io you can uh, you know uh, type that into Google search for it and what you can do here is you can just type in any type of niche. So let's just go with like basketball. Basketball, we're going to hit enter. And then you can sort it by alphabetical. So you would just go alphabetical. And so right here, we would start off with L. So we're going to look for L. So we're going to find one. Now, this might not be the best because this is giving me like, you know, team names. So we can't do that. Maybe let's try like a different one. Let's try like maybe coffee. Obviously, coffee is another really uh, good niche. Or big niche so we can come in here let's see what we can find with L so oh, I need to uh, categorize it by alphabetical but one that pops into my mind right away which is probably gonna be here is going to be latte so let's see where is L A B C D there it is right there L and then we would go to G so maybe like uh, gourmet or something like that where's G gourmet coffee all right and then we would just go through LGBT and find words that start with a certain letter and we can get a um, you know a nice design and then ways that you can just get niche ideas, you know, like I said, you can just think about like what's popular, what you like to do. Like for me, it's basketball, it's gym, maybe it's a certain type of food you like. I like coffee. You know, I drink a lot of coffee. Um, but if you want to get like really big niches, what you can do is you can just go to like any one of these research tools like Merch by Amazon or Flying Research, which I also like to use as well. Like you just come in right here and let's just go with like search. And it's going to show us a bunch of T-shirts and basically niches that we can do to just take what it is so let's see if i can find one right here so maybe like it's showing me a lot of the brands i wish i could filter that out so i didn't have like the disney stuff but what's this epilepsy you know like if you just think like what are some of the biggest you know niches so like video games is going to be a good one so you could take video games and you could pop it into here and you can see what kind of related words are going to come up let's see if we can find any other niches maybe like you know volleyball there's a lot of like um you know gay people or gay women that are like in sports like you know volleyball softball you know things like that so that could be another one you can also do like holidays so like thanksgiving so we can come in here thanksgiving is coming up so we would just type in like thanksgiving thanksgiving boom and we can see what type of words so maybe for l 
Um, you know, now it's not going to work for every niche, you know, so you do have to do a little bit of research. Let's see if we can find some good ones. So where is L? Uh, I might have to do Christmas instead because I'm not seeing anything. So like I said, sometimes it doesn't always work. So maybe, you know, for Christmas instead. But the idea with this video is I'm just trying to show you like how you can take a design like this. Uh, where to go, right? Uh, whoops, that's not it. Uh, you, you can take a design like this, but instead of using, you know, the gym, you can use a different type of niche. And hopefully you can still get the same sales results. Because a lot of times, me, myself, and a lot of merch sellers, we're all basically copycats. You know, we see a design that's selling well, and then we just basically make something similar. But here, we can kind of take this design style and use a whole different niche. And I really think this yoga one could be a good one. I'm probably not going to upload it, so if you guys want to take it, go ahead. Uh, where to go? Oh, whoops. Uh, this one right here. Lotus Garland Bridge Tree. You know, I think if I were into yoga, I think this would be pretty cool because they're all the yoga poses and then they quiet the mind. So I think it works well. Um, but yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Make sure you guys that are subscribed to the channel that you click the bell because I'm, I've been working on a video. Uh, my next video is going to be a really good one. It's going to be eight. Uh, 2024 uh, niches these niches are low in competition and these if you've been following my channel for a while you you'll know that I've been selling a lot of these 2024 niches and I found a lot of them or eight of them that are really low in competition so I'm really excited to make that video it's probably gonna probably gonna make it maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day so maybe around like Tuesday is when it might come out or Wednesday but just make sure that you're subscribed and you have the, the bell click so that you get notified um, because some of these niches are like, I'm talking like under a hundred thousand, um, under a hundred results. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for the video today. Um, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. Um, I got a couple courses. If you're interested, links are in the description for Merch by Amazon and Redbubble. I will teach you how I get sales or royalties like this right here. I'm not the best Merch by Amazon seller, but I did do over you know, $1,500 last month. I've been on Merch by Amazon for almost six years now. Um, so yeah, and I got a lot of good niches on my shop, um, not my shop, but on my, uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. But that's it for today. It is Sunday. The Niners are playing in about an hour. So I'm excited to see that. We've lost the last three in a row. We started off five and zero. Now we're five and three. So we're playing the Jags in Florida, you know, so hopefully we win. But anyways, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I have, uh, if you want to follow my daily sales, you can follow me on Instagram. So here are the sales from yesterday. I also put my daily sales from Etsy. So Etsy's starting to pick up uh, $213 yesterday. I also have entrepreneur picks, just like my life here in Mexico. This is me, my wife, and our son. And then I have gym picks as well. Me just beasting it out in the gym, been making some good gains lately. But that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I really support all your guys' uh, support, watching the channel, liking, all that good stuff. It really means a lot to me. Um, also, and if you want to talk to me on Instagram, you know, if you have a question, people have been reaching out and they'll be like, hey, what do you think about this design? You know, is this trademark, blah, blah, blah. If you're, if you're unsure about something and you want to contact me directly, send me a message on Instagram. I usually respond within a day or two. All right, so let's connect. Thanks again for watching. I've probably said that already like a million times. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Watch out for the next video. It's, it's coming up soon. Adios. Bye-bye.